So I didn't talk about last week's episode of My Hero Academia. I did really enjoy the episode, just didn't have a whole lot to say. But I will mention the idea of a clone not knowing if it's a clone or the original was really interesting with the whole villains last week. So I really did appreciate that and had to mention that. But with this week's episode of My Hero Academia, we get the last episode of Season 3. Of course, we are getting that Season 4. It's confirmed at the end of this episode. We don't know exactly when we're getting it, probably sometime late next year because Bones will be working on other projects next year past My Hero Academia, but still, I'm very excited for Season 4. But the idea of the Big Three is something that I do want to really compliment and praise because it's something that I think could easily, if put into different hands, be a lot more stereotypical than what we got. Two of the Big Three completely just do not strike you as three of the best students. The idea of one obviously having like stage fright being around people, I thought that was kind of an interesting direction to take with one of them, and then also having one be this airhead and just very bubbly. Sure, that's a stereotypical personality, but it's not a stereotypical personality of a big three type person. So I really appreciate that, but Togata was probably the most interesting and fascinating character we've been introduced to in quite a while in this series. What I like is the idea of not only is his ability frightening, just because of how insane it is if mastered properly, his personality is something that is very interesting to just watch as an outsider. The idea that this guy had to work his ass off to turn an ability that was essentially nothing into now an ability that is looked at as probably the next number one hero, including pro heroes alike, is absolutely wonderful. This guy's ability is so interesting, and this episode actually goes into the fundamentals of it in a pretty thorough way. Of course, all the students are charging after him because he fights all of them at once. That's something that I really do appreciate. Like, it's kind of cliche, but I really like that cliche moment where, like, I'm so strong, I can take you all on at once. I love those moments so much, so I am glad we got that with this week's episode. But seriously, the idea that essentially that if he lets his body pass through everything, like his entire body goes into his ability, he has no control. Essentially, he's just floating. There's nothing that he can do, and the idea that he taught himself how to propel and kind of anchor his destination so when he does get forced back through the ground, he can essentially pop up behind people. That's absolutely fantastic, but the idea that one of his legs or one of his arms or the ability isn't being used on it, so he can essentially walk through a wall but keep one leg grounded, and then he activates the ability on the leg that was previous grounded, and then turns the ability off on everything else on his body. Like, the idea that he mastered that, that he can, in an instant, go through someone, go through a wall but keep one leg grounded, and then immediately take that other leg and push it through the object, without anyone realizing that he had that level of focus and concentration, that's absolutely amazing. Like, that is such dedication and skill, and to imagine how much time and effort he would have put into that to master his ability, that is so interesting. I immediately want to know more about his character. That's so amazing. And, of course, it's only natural that only Deku was able to predict how he would come up for his attack. I think that was just absolutely amazing. Like, for a final episode of Season 3, I think this did everything that I wanted. Introduce a new element to the mix. Obviously, three new characters who are all interesting, distinct personalities from characters we already know and love. New powers, new abilities, hinting at the new threat that's coming. That's everything that I need. I think this concluded this season in a fantastic way. We've had amazing character development. We've had amazing action sequences. We've had just... A lot of scenes that you thought would go one way turn and flipped upside down in a completely different way. This season did everything that I wanted. I think this is safe to say it was the best season of My Hero Academia. And of course, it's only ever going to get better from here. That's I feel like that's safe to say even though I've never read the manga. This series has proved that more often than not, it tops its previous arc. This season has been fantastic. Character development has been on point. I'm so excited to see if All Might is going to give connections to Deku, how he's going to go on to this internship like... I can't wait to see the characters not being held back as students, but actually fighting on the front lines as sidekicks. Like, that is going to be so interesting. Of course, also Bakko and Todoroki, how they are going to make up for the failure in the previous test. It's going to be so exciting. But let me know whatever you're feeling down in that comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me in the future. But until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.